Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to take backup of Cisco routers and how to restore them. So let us start. So in this tutorial I am going to use a tool called TFTP server which you can download it from my blog as well as you can download from Google. So once you visit my blog you can you can just go to download page and press Ctrl F to type TFTP server. So here is my TFTP server which I have uploaded on my blog. You can download from here as well. Uh, we can download from this website as well. Now let me show you, show you the topology which I am going to use for this tutorial. I am going to use this same topology but instead of using management PC this time I am going to use my Laptop. I'll be connecting my own laptop to the GNS3 routers using load pack. And once we set up this topology, I'm going to assign this IP address. You can manually assign this IP address as well as you can visit. Or uh, you can click on config page for the initial configuration. So let's get started. But let uh, before that, let us go to network connection and see that my loop back is enabled. Now let me start GNS3. And let me set up topology for this one. Let me take three routers. I need to configure my cloud with loop path. So here is my loop path at the cloud interface. You can directly connect or you can even use a script, no problem with that. So in this cloud I have configured my loop path. Let me start the devices. So all the devices are started. Let me go to super party. And let me get the control axis of R1, R2, and R3. So here we got all the control axis and still our routers are booting up. Let us wait for a few seconds. Here is my routers are completely up. Now you can see that all the routers are up. Now we need to start with the initial configuration. So I'm just going to my blog on the config page, you'll find the initial configuration. So I click copy and just give a right click on the configuration step. Similarly, move to R2, this is my R2. Go to my blog. Right click copy. And right click to this. We are done with the initial configuration on R2 as well. Now, turn for R3. Select this one. Right click copy. Okay. So, we are done with the initial configuration on R3 as well. So let me give a ping from R1 from R3 to R1. The IP address of R1 is 7.7.7.7. .7 .7 .7. So the router 3 is perfectly communicating with R1. Now let me see like fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected to my loop pack and which is slash 24. So I need to assign the same network on my loop pack. So I'm just going to my network connection and I want to turn off my Wi-Fi. I click properties. Already in the network. Done. Yes. Close. And I'm going to set up home network. So it's working. Now I'm going to command prompt and let me ping to my router. This is the default gateway of my router. You can see that my PC is able to ping to the router. Let me even ping to R3. R3 IP address is 8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. You can see that R3 is 
ping from my router from my PC. So let me ping to my loopback and my loopback IP address is let me show you the loopback IP address is 10.1.1.3. So let me ping to this address from router R3. So I'll say two ping 10.1.1.3. You need to check the two-way connections. Uh, this might be because of my Windows firewall. Windows firewall, I need to turn it off. So turn off the Windows firewall. Now let us check whether R3 is able to ping or not. You can see that R3 is pinging to my PC. So once you check the two-way connectivity, that is from PC to router and router to PC, you need to start pftp server so here is my pftp server wait one second let me search it again pftp server so under this directory i need to search for pftp server now yeah here is my pftp server sorry this is a good book this is the FTP application so start the application and make sure that the selected interface is loopback interface and then you need to search for uh, locate the directory and I want to store on desktop let me make one folder here say as router so I want to store under this directory. So I'll go to my TFTP server and I'll browse for the location on desktop. I got router backup. So under this directory, I would like to show all my backup from here. So don't close this one once you start the directory, just minimize this one. Now go to let us take the backup of router R3. The command is copy. Then I want to copy the running configuration because I have not saved the configuration. So let me save the configuration first. So I have saved the configuration now. Now let me start stop by copying startup configuration. I want to copy startup configuration to TFTP server. But this is like copy is a command and the source which I want to copy in this case I want to copy my startup configuration to TFTP server. Once I press enter it is going to ask me for the TFTP address which is located at 10.1.1.3. Enter. And this is like destination file name with, with this name it is going to save the backup file. So let me show you the directory. See the directory is completely empty. So once I hit enter you will see that under this directory we got R3 configuration file. Now similarly let us also copy in this one I have not saved the configuration so when I change so startup configuration it's completely empty right you can see there is no interface configuration here so when I say show running configuration under running configuration everything is done you can see all the routing and the interface IP address and all that so what I want to do here is I want to copy my running configuration to TFTP enter and my TFTP server is located at this address which is my loopback IP address and I want to save with the same name so we can see that your file has been copied now let me go to directory and I can see that my R2 configuration is copied. So this was like how to take the backup of the router. Now once we take the backup of the router, I'll show you how to restore this backup. So let me go to GNS3 and uh, let me restart R2. So our R2 is being restarted. And once it gets restart, the whole configuration is going to be lost because I have not saved this configuration. So 
So let's see here, show run. On this, I don't have any configuration. Now, what I need to do is I need to just assign an IP address on the interface. On this interface, which I need to establish a connectivity so that this router should reach to this loop back on which this is my laptop on which we have stored the backup configuration. So what we are going to do is like I'm going to just assign an IP address on this interface interface and after that I'll be just giving one static route pointing towards R1. So let me do that. So I'll say no shut then I'll say IP address 7.7.7.2 0.0.0.0. After that, one default route, sorry, one static route. You can even give default route pointing towards R1. Now, let me ping to my PFTP server, which is at this location. So, you can see that my ping is going to PFTP server. And let me show you what I've done. I have only configured IP address on this interface. I have not configured IP address on this interface. So what we are going to do now is we are going to restore the backup which we have taken under this directory. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to press F2 and I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy the name. So once I copy the name, then I'm going to say copy. Now, where is my source? My this time my source is PFTP server, and what I'm what I want to copy, I want to copy the running configuration. When I press enter, it is going to ask me for the location of my PFTP server, and this is the location of my PFTP server. Press enter, and source file name. I have copied the source file name, so I'm just going to right click. So this is my source file name, which is which is under this directory. R2. Okay. Now press enter and the destination file name. I'm not going to change this one. So press it. So now your router has been restored. So let us see your IP interface here. So see here, you can see that the other interface has been configured using PFTP. Done. Now what we need to do is like to go to this router and to say no shut. Done. So in this tutorial, I have shown you how to take backup and how, as well as how to restore the backup on Cisco Devisor. So thanks a lot for watching my video. Thank you. Bye bye.